Hi everybody, Tim Berkholz here. Welcome to the chapter trailer of the Ultimate Weapon tutorial. What you see here is the AKM at the end of all chapters after we put it into Marmoset Toolbag. Throughout the tutorial we are going to cover every single step to get to that point and in this chapter trailer here we are going to have a quick look at all these different stations. A 3ds Max introduction, the modeling and unwrapping part, the texturing part and the rendering part at the very end. We start with the 3 d Max introduction which will help you turning 3 d Max into a powerful tool. For that we have a look at controls, important settings and configurations and continue with an in-depth look at many actions, modifiers, as well as the importance of shortcuts to become fast and efficient. Let's have a look into the modeling chapter, in which we will spend most of our time as we create our AKM. At the end of this course, you will be equipped with powerful skills and knowledge in hard surface modeling and weapon creation. Every step is commented and nothing left out until we have the perfect model in front of us. You're going to learn how to make a proper scene setup, defining the right size of our AKM, and most importantly the modeling process in which every single element requires us to make use of clever modeling techniques to get the perfect results. After the low poly modeling, we're going to work on our high poly model, which we need for our normal map bake later in the tutorial. In the unwrapping chapter, we will then learn how to unfold our 3D model into our UV space, which defines our later texture. You will learn which parts we want to keep unique and which are worth sharing in order to get the highest possible resolution out of our texture. At the end of the unwrapping course, we will prepare our finished low poly and high poly mesh for the baking part. In the substance painter chapter, we will then take our AKM and create state-of-the-art textures that are as close to photorealism as it can get for video game standards. Using the latest physically based rendering techniques, we will start by baking out all the essential maps and continue with a short introduction into some of Substance Painter's core features. We are going to tweak a procedural wood material until it matches our reference images and we will apply all the important base materials to our model. You will learn how to hand paint in normal map information straight onto our mesh, as well as adding plenty of wear and tear to all our individual objects to make sure that it looks perfect from every angle. Once we are done with our textures, we will have a look at some of the export options where we can get them ready for Marmoset or any other target engine. In the Marmoset part, we will then cover everything that matters for making amazing renders which you can add to your portfolio. After a quick introduction to Marmoset, you will learn all the important settings for our materials and we will continue by applying all the right settings to our powerful Marmoset cameras. You will then learn how to make different kinds of renders, such as having the full gun in the scene, as well as focusing on close-ups to show off some of our details that we have on our model. As the last two things in this tutorial, you will learn how to render out a 360 animation, as well as creating a stunning looking Marmoset viewer file, which allows us to look at our 3D model online in the browser. Thanks for watching and see you in the tutorial!